Alrighty, my friends. There's only one black star and one neutron star per cluster. Okay. Okay, so unipolar magnets, you say, replaces motors. Is that a recipe I've learned yet? Do I need to do I need to research a recipe for that? Cuz I'm not seeing anything. New polar magnets. See for the particle containers, I think that's what those little things are. I don't see another recipe for motors for what you're talking about. Um, am I missing something? Is it possible to get more clusters? Well, when you start, you choose your cluster. So this is like this is like starting in Factorio. And um, you know, I don't. I, you'd have to like re-roll a new a new planet or something, a new uh, a new cluster. I'm not sure what you're talking about with the the unipolar. Unipolar magnets replacing motors. I don't. I don't see an alternate recipe for motors or electromagnetic turbines or anything. I don't. I don't see that. I think it's only for the containers. Obviously, the freeze-up turbines for other production. You only need to be a little more specific with what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it just this that you're talking about? That getting this will mean. The motors aren't being used in this recipe. I guess maybe that's what you're talking about. Um, I'm going to not make that transition yet. I think I want to get the quantum chip production facility. Um, built that I was talking about. So... The ray receivers, I'm going to hope we can get some decent amount of power from our Dyson Sphere. Um, using these that we've made. See how many we've made so far. We've made six, okay. Wow, this is not very fast. Yeah, because we don't have motors for these guys. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe if we made that transition to that different build. Yeah, I feel like it'd be a pretty major undertaking to change a lot of what we've done because it sounds like the best way to do this would be have a production facility for each of these important items a big giant one and then put into our logistics system that's probably the best way to do that it's ominous enough to make me want to start a new game but I don't think I want to do that um But I think maybe I can start by transitioning over to do that by what I plan on doing, which is the quantum chip. Um, uh, factory I want to make. Getting the fancy magnets making the makes the particle containers without using turbines or graphene. Yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, uh Problem is, if I do that, then I'd have to swap over all my production. How easy would that be to do? Because particle containers I'm making in a couple different places here, which is lacking motors. And see, because of the way my production is, yeah, we're like using them all like crazy over here. The way my system is set up, it's hard to replace an item like that. I have to replace it in a couple different places on the bus. Does the quantum chip allow you to go to the quantum realm or at least do quantum leap? <laughs> totally. Totally. I plan to add more ray receivers for better Dyson Sphere utilization. utilization. Yes. Yes, I did plan on doing that. Okay. Um, you know what? I, I kind of do want to do this. this is the, I think it's the one resource I don't have yet. I have no idea what power I'm going to need, so 
don't know if I'm going to need solar or wind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I am going to go... Let's go visit a neutron star. We haven't done that yet. That sounds pretty awesome. Let me look at my materials. What I need to take before I go there. More power poles if I can. Okay. Um, robots. 50, 20. Okay, let's take some more of the logistics robots. I'm going to need more fuel for sure. Logistics robots. Where are all those guys? They're over here. Let's go to our map to grab stuff. Making a, making a inventory hub is really probably the next thing I should should do. There's so much things like so many things I could always do. In sorters. Okay. Where where are the robots? Where are they? They're up here, aren't they? There they are. Okay. Wow, these are really being built slowly too. And that's probably because of iron. So I need I need I need to do a lot of stuff. Let's get this new resource though. Cause it means we also get to explore a new place. So I have space for those right here. Unipolar magnets. Local supply, remote demand. And it's gonna use lots of probably warpers for that, I would guess. 4,500, something like that. Make sure you have enough warpers because I will need several jumps, okay. I have lots of warpers, but I think I really am gonna need is plenty of the fuel. I have 14 plus 85 here. Yeah, I got plenty of warpers. It's really, I think it's the fuel for my uh, for my guy that I need more of, so. Could have just picked up fuel while I was out and looking at stuff too, but I just don't have that. I'm not trained to do that. I haven't trained my body. There. Okay. All right, is that going to be enough fuel? Is that going to be enough fuel to get us there and back, you think? Time to load up on coal to get back and forth. That's right. Uh, let me th think what I need. I got wind turbines. I got solar panels. I got power things. I got logistics vessels, drones. But I'm only going there for the one item for the unipolar stuff. Uh, interstellar logistics stations. We even got some... Do I have the orbital ones? Did I automate those? I thought I did. The orbital... Guys, to get stuff from a gas giant. I don't think I have any of those automated. So another thing I need to automate. But all right, let's save it and let's go visit a neutron star. What should we do? Neutron star or um, black hole? Black hole. I feel like would be cooler. The thing with black hole is I feel like it also might. It's a little bit further away, right? And yeah, black hole is two more light years away. And the further away it is, I feel like the more warpers it would take to get there or does it only take one warper per trip for our logistics robots i don't actually know i guess we can look at who has more no i can't tell who has more it's got optical grading new polar magnets it's got same thing it's got fractal silver that looks really cool i mean i guess i could visit both it's one warper per jump for them okay Let's plan on setting up at the Neutron Star, but we might visit the black hole just to look at it. We're going to take a scenic tour here. So Neutron Star, NTR, JO857. So we're going to go to NTR, JO, whatever it is. And I need, it to, I need to look for a purple, purple thing to be able to see it. Okay, got to find it in the night sky. Uh, looking for the purple. Purple dudes. 
behind my star. I'm not going to see it. It's so bright. Tab. Is there any good way to find this? Okay, that way. Okay, which way was that? <laughs> uh, do this again. It is... Okay, it's out towards, so out away from the star. So the star's that way, out this way somewhere. Oh my god. I think it should be out here somewhere. God, finding these things. But it makes sense to build transfer points between. Uh, I don't know what you mean by a transfer point. I feel like I've seen it and I just haven't recognized it yet. If I'm looking there, where are my other planets? It's, it's out here somewhere. Oh my god, it's so hard to figure out. It's pretty far, so maybe it's not bright and that's why I'm missing it. Sheraton. It's 20-something light years. Between your planet and the remote star to make trips shorter. Between my planet and the remote star. Well, see so you was looking for a bright star in the general direction. Once you have the right direction, you can find it easier. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think what you're suggesting, Boo, would make any difference at all, no. Okay, so let's find a bright star between us and what we're looking for. So, what are we looking for? We're looking for the black hole. It's over this way. So, between us and that is... It's above Beta Cancri. I've seen Beta Cancri a couple times, I think. So, it's a blue star... Ooh, do, 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 do. Canis Majoris. Beta Cancri, okay. Beta Cancri. So, I said above. Now I gotta figure out what's above. Those. Okay, I think it's out this way somewhere. Can I zoom out at all to help me see? The neutron star is N something something. That's actually further out, but it can create. That's me, that's my body. Feel the pain of sailors having to navigate using stars? Yeah, no kidding. Okay, what's the name of the, um... What's the name of the black hole? Maybe I'm seeing the black hole and I don't even realize it. No, they both have DSR and NTR in their names. Safe, Beta Cancri, Sheraton. I'm seeing... So I'm actually looking the right direction. I'm looking the right direction. I think it might be shared to maybe it's up this way. I'm looking at the right part of the sky. Is it just so dark that I can't see it? Am I like turned upside down? Do I need to go below it? I'm far away so I can't see them. So should I fly to Beta Cancri first? Beta Cancri is further away than they are, though, because that's 27, and those are 26, right? 
hate that when it right clicks and zooms in. Don't do that game. Yeah, these are actually not as far as those. Okay, so I should probably fly to like Sabic. If I go to Sabic, that's kind of on the way there. Actually, maybe Kochab. Maybe I'd be able to see it from Coach. Okay, this 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 right click zoom in thing. I need that to change. That is that is absolutely annoying as hell in that thing. Look at Tad above Cancri. I don't I don't think I can see it. I'm pretty sure it's like not visible. I'm looking at Tad above Cancri. None of the ah, oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, there's DSR. Where's the end? So there's the black hole. Um, I wonder if I can see the other one. You hate that thing too, but it can't be disabled. Okay, let's zoom in. We found it. Oh, let's not zoom in too much. It's there. All right, can I find... There it is. Okay, I found it. That little dot right there. I'm saving before we do this because I even though I got a bunch of fuel, who knows if it's enough fuel. Black art holes really aren't that bright, bright Kappa. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, we're pointed right towards the thing. Let's see if we can do it. Uh caps lock. Can't see them all, I think, if you mess over, but it's stuff like black holes, white doors, and light are hard to see. You can can see them all if you mouse over, yeah. Okay. I think we'll probably be fine on fuel. Okay, this is pretty crazy. Flying to a freaking neutron star. I might be able to do this on one gas tank right here. Thank you, Gnur, by telling me to look just above that place. I couldn't figure it out myself. Look at that. That's really cool. You can see it's like a rainbow color from the Doppler shift or something. I might actually make this in one thing. We're already half over halfway there. Two-thirds of the way there. Six light years. Okay. We'll be stuck in the distance between stars if we're not careful here. Loading screen? What do you mean loading screen? Oh, almost made it. Is it going to drop me out? Okay. Okay, so now... Oh, that thing is... What what I was flying through is basically the loading screen? Okay. Um, okay. Nearest astronomical object, point six. First thing, is it talking about the uh, neutron star I'm going towards, I guess? 0.6 light years, is that the same as 39 AUs? I don't actually know. Okay, we almost made it there, though. We almost made it there on one tank of gas. Is there a faster way for us to fill up here? This is the best fuel we have. I think we're maxed out on that that technology, aren't we? Upgrades. Energy circuit. Is that the one? Uh, that's the fuel power. That one just takes whites. Mecha core. Mechanical frame. And cue that. Ran didn't check his jump, so now he has to do a quadruple dive. No, we're good. We're good. Just a little bit further. I think I could probably finish this now. If I warp again. And 
Hey, we made it. Holy crap, that is crazy looking. Star map. What do we got in this place here? What do we got here? We got one single planet. Reverse rotation ice field Jellisol. It's got a bunch of crazy stuff. 56 million fire ice on this place. Okay. Uh, one light year, 62 AU if you're not mistaken. Okay. Okay. What about power here? Ooh, 146% solar energy ratio. Perfect. I can just use a bunch of solar panels for power on this place. Very nice. Oh my god, did I bring... Okay, I have 12 miners. For a second there, I was like, did I even bring miners? <laughs> Thank god I actually have those. Okay. I don't think I ever automated miners. That's another thing I need to automate. Okay, so where is the planet? Is it here? J0857441. Um, 1 AU is 8 light minutes the distance between the sun and earth. You are about this game. Is this the, is this the, am I heading toward, this is a huge orbit by the way. Well, actually I guess it's just, um, well, like probably four times the or orbit of sun to earth or something. One light year is exactly 63,241 AUs. Okay. Nice, Boncho was really close. Uh, probably be faster to actually warp to this thing, huh? But every time I warp, it uses a warp. Space warper, so I prefer not to do that. Let's so we'll just get to max speed. Max sublight speed. Okay. Wow, look at how, like, white-blue that star is. It's so freaking cool. So stinking cool, man. Now, take us a little bit of time to get out here. <laughs> this is so freaky. Right in the middle of freaking space by a neutron star. Many light years away from a home planet. It's pretty freaky. Keep checking my fuel. Just because I'm afraid. I'm just afraid, but we're fine. We're fine. Let's do that. All right, let's see what this planet looks like. Looks like it's a an ice, some sort of ice planet. All right, Litho break, engage. Bam. Okay, I could probably get some uh, farm some uh, what you would call it here um, soil. All right, fractal silicon. Let's see here. What else we got? Silicon, fractal silicon, fire ice. We are looking for. Unipolar something. Just fly around a little bit here to try to find it. And if not, I'll look on the map. Fractal silicon, unipolar magnet vein. How much is on this planet? 4.925 million. So it looks like there's at least two veins of this. Um, there's so much stuff here. It might be easier to turn this planet into a quantum chip factory. It's not a bad idea. My only my only issue with that life saving is power. I guess I have a bunch of solar solar uh, panels from the game. Info plane planet diameter 1d equals 400 meters giant planet diameter 4d. Okay, cool um, Do we have all the things we need Copper is actually a little little limited on this place But it does have silicon and the other stuff Dyson sphere of the neutron star well that would take I mean we could possibly do something like that um chemical plants. Huh. Yeah, I could I could request more panels if I need them. That's true. Reverse rotation. Um reverse rotation. 
This game looks cool. This game is super cool. Excited train guy. I'm I'm very much thinking about what you said. What you said, life saving Karachi. Set up the quantum. Um. The quantum thing here. Um. Before I do that, before I do that, let's let's get the basic resource set up first. Before we do anything that crazy, we might we might do that. Let's get the reason we came here set up at least so we can at least start sending stuff there. We're going to need a lot of power for that. So it's a pretty big um commitment of resources if we're going to go ahead and do something like that. So let's get Let's get our main, main goal set up here first, and that is just a couple solar panels just to power this stuff to start out. Power. Let's not get ahead of ourselves yet. I might set up a very extensive power grid to to do to set up something like that. We'll have to see. Thing is, I don't think ray receivers. I wouldn't be able to supply power this stuff with ray receivers, right? Because I wouldn't be able to get Dyson Sphere power that far away. Equatorial power belt can get you a lot of power. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing, Ramses. I'm doing this just to get this started, so I can start sending resources back home. But I'm 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 honestly thinking about that life-saving uh, Karachi. I'm thinking about that right now. You got me. Things that make you go hmm. Unipolar stuff. Remote supply, local demand. And I do want to put this in this, this in there. And I'm gonna put a couple warpers in there for now. Okay. Okay. I am very, I am very much considering picking up what you're putting down there with your suggestion. Angle too wide. Okay. Okay, there. I'm picking up what you're putting down. And then mark two into there. It's not a good idea starting production so far away. It increases the time that it takes for, um, well, whatever a building to get, get there, right? Like, if I set up a big production facility here, the further away it is, the longer it takes for it to get. Where it wants to go, if I'm not mistaken. So, something that I want a lot of, like quantum chips, probably would not be smart to build a power production facility here. What is this game about? You're thinking about buying this. It is Factorio and... Um, Um, satisfactory in space. And it's an amazing game. I highly recommend it. I've been having a blast with it. I can see the speed of my vessels in upgrades. Um, is it the drone engines? The one that I'm currently working on? That's, that's, I don't think it's that. I think it's logistics carrier engines. These guys... Logistics drones, logistics vessels. Oh, over here. Oh, nice. So logistics vessel speed. 0.1 light year a second. So the further away we are with them, the longer it's going to take to bring stuff. With a hint of Supreme Commander. There you go. I'm going to actually enqueue that because I'd like that to be faster. But yeah, having this, this resource... Um, slowly be brought back home. I think I'm cool with. I don't think I'm cool with setting up a major production facility of an item. I mean, a lot of. Um, 
this far away, honestly. Let's do Mark III belt there even faster. All right, and even though this will be probably way more than I need, I'm going to get... I'm going to do a second station of this. Because this is so far away, I don't want to have to come back here anytime soon if I can help it. Um, so where is more unipolar magnets? Veins. Uh, see silicon veins over on the other side of the planet there. It's 1.9 million. There's, there's probably a third one somewhere. 1.5 million there. Okay. Um, let's go get this one over here. Because I feel like it being around the equator might be easier to power. Actually, it's probably easier to power if it's near... Well, the pole will be seasonal, right? When it gets power. It's probably best if I just connect the power if I can. If you're here, what's the closer one so I can power both of them? Where is it? Unipolar there, that's 1.6. Unipolar here, 1.5. Okay, so this one is not as far away, so past this lake thing. So if I get some power poles going over this way. I should get more of the wireless power towers. I need to get those automated. Did I? I think I actually did get them automated, maybe. It's a three plus minute trip one way. At least the cargo ships don't spend five minutes finding the target. <laughs> hey, that's no, rude. <laughs> Hey, it's my first time to travel this 20-something light years. Give me a break. Doing my best. Doing my best. I'm limited by my human brain. I don't have a robot brain like they do. My robot brain not as good as their robot brain. Okay. Oh, did I even not even see it from what you were telling me? Solar sail life. You said you see it now. It's a three-minute trip one way. Did you just do the um, the math on it, or is it this? The 1,200 meters a second. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. we got three miners. There. 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 Okay. And we'll add a little bit of extra power over here on this side in case the other side of the planet power happens to be out. We'll just do a little bit of power stuff. Something basic like that. Local planet power. Capacity demand. Okay, yeah, looks like we're good on that. Um, and actually, I could do a local one here, couldn't I? Um, do I want to do it this way? Is it better to just do another intergalactic, interstellar one rather than a local one to have it go back and forth? It's probably better to do it this way. Because then I don't have to power this at all. And this is the same as the other one's gonna be unipolar magnets. Local demand, remote supply. And again, I don't think I need warpers, but I'm gonna just put a few in here just because I'm anal that way. It's probably just a waste of a resource going in there, but I'm fine with it. There. 
there. And there. Mark three belt. Mental math, 20 light years times 0.1 light years a second equals 200 seconds. Gotcha. Uh, just saying it won't be as bad once automated. True. To, for them to get there. Yeah. Okay. Make sure this is working. Around 400, I should see, I think, stuff start leaving here. Unless our storage on the other planet is full, which it might already be. Okay, yeah, so it's probably already full. And power on this planet. Looks like we are way over what we need. Okay, very nice. So. We have, I think, every rare resource available now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is there any rare resource? Well, we don't have antimatter. But I think we have to make that. But I think that's all the rare resources now available to us. Apart from the crazy stuff that we need to still make, like if there's antimatter as a thing and maybe one or two other things we haven't um, uh, researched yet. So, okay. So I think what I want to do actually is I want to visit the black hole before we go back home and start this quantum chip factor we've talked about so save here let's go visit a black hole see if this thing looks freaking sweet or not too bad mosaic's not here mosaic is the one who's telling me i need to visit visit the black hole because it looks so cool all right so now we got to figure out where it is again we're closer to it so hopefully it'll be easier for me to see it the sky okay yeah let's go we'll take a look at the neutron star there's the black hole. So, sure, let's go take a look. We kind of did, but I didn't get a close-up. Wow, look at that, like, lens flare going on right there. J.J. Abrams lens flare. Let's go. Let's go take a closer look at this star here. Which is funny. I think it's going to take us longer to get there than it will be to warp over to the black hole over there. DSR, does that stand for Dark Star? And NTR stands for Neutron Star? You know you can pin stars you found? How? How do we do that? I would love to do that. Is it like in the star map or something? I like right click it. How do I do that? Mouse over and click the pin icon. Now, sober where? Here? I don't see a pin icon. This is another thing on the right side that I'm not seeing or something. Try the black hole. Ah! Ah! Okay. Alright, here we go. About to ram a neutron star. Holy crap. Holy crap, this is crazy. Jeez. Holy shnikes. So for those who are really big star and space people, as a neutron star, how does that relate to a black hole? Is, is a neutron star in a state that's going to eventually collapse on itself and become a black hole? Or does that depend on the mass? Or Wow, that's really freaking cool looking. It's like a, like a ball rolling in space. Oh, haha, <laughs> the gravity's pulling me. It's completely stopped my speed now. Wow, look at this. How do I turn off my over? I, I, I kind of want to get this as a, this might be a, this might be a thing that I want to have as a uh, background thing. What's, what's the, um, it's F11. Okay, I'm going to turn off, I'm going to turn off my camera for a bit here and a couple things. This is gorgeous. And I just want to, I just want a video of this. One second, everybody. So it's going to be turn off this and turn off a couple other things. Uh, let's see. Event list and alert box. And where's my bid cap? Okay. 
Okay. What's going to look the best? Something like this? Let's get something that looks really good. Oh, that is crazy. All right, I'm just going to record this a bit because this is pretty insane. I have to alt-tab to do that. That. Oh, I should not have my mouse on the screen. Okay, I'm taking my mouse off the screen. I can edit this later. But just just look at this gorgeous thing. Initial star had not enough mass to become black hole, but enough to become neutron star. Ah, okay, that's that's not enough to become neutron star. Big stars collapse in black holes. Big stars collapse in neutron stars. Average stars like ours collapse into white dwarfs. It's all after they swell into red giants and go nova. Okay. Neutron stars are star cores after supernova. If the original star had more mass, it would have turned into a black hole. The sun holds. The sun is too small to turn into neutron, neutron star. Though. Okay. All right, very cool. Very cool. Let's turn all our stuff back on here. Stop that recording. Good job. Um, event list. And video capture. All right. For all the people who get sick watching my uh, Subnautica thing, maybe they won't get sick staring at a neutron star. Although it's super bright, so I don't know if that'll be a good thing either. It might just be too freaking bright. I don't know. Our sun will be a white dwarf. Okay. They reckon a teaspoon of neutron star material weighs more than our solar system. Wow. Uh, it's more massive, I guess. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Right, I'm seeing two different ones here. Oh my god, this is going to look incredible. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Holy shnikes, that is amazing. What is this? Holy crap, that is cool. Didn't they just find a math algorithm that proves possible FTL travel? That I haven't heard of. I mean, this would probably also make for a cool break video. Oh, the warp. I'm gonna probably I'm I'm probably gonna record all these because this holy crap. Wow, and this is huge. This is taking me a long time to fly around here. If I were to stop, I gotta get a good view on this, because this is Eat your heart out interstellar, man. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is so freaking cool, man. Am I getting sucked into this thing? Kip Thorne worked out the mass for real black holes for Interstellar. That's using the same mass, okay. What? Look at this, man. Holy crap, this is gorgeous. I can't, I have to like shift to get out of the gravitational pull of this thing. This is freaking cool, man. Okay, I have to record this too. Sorry, I didn't know this stream was be a break screen recording screen uh, stream, but I was not expecting to see such cool stuff today either. So one second, my friends, this is so freaking cool. All right, quick recording of looking or going around a black hole. F11 here. I'm gonna record. NASA's image of a black hole is a lie, Kappa. You better say Kappa. Now jump in for some bookshelves. Yeah. <laughs> jump in for some bookshelves. And seeing my daughter when she's really young or something. Oh man, I'm getting sucked into this thing right now. I hope I don't die getting sucked into the black hole. A worthwhile death, though. I saved over uh, before I came here. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. 
This is this game has had some of the best visuals in any game I've seen in a long time. It's so sweet. Okay. All right. God, this game is so cool, man. Uh, so freaking sweet. F11. Okay. This is all done in Unity. I'd be impressed with that if I knew more what that meant. I know that that's an engine, but I don't know. I mean, I think some of the, like... I think the game we played, um... Um... What was that indie game we recently were playing? Wow, 7 million unipolar magnets there. Uh, the Wind and Wilting Blossom, I think, is also done in Unity, so... Would be cool the black hole turned out to be a wormhole leading to another universe. Multiplayer, anyone? <laughs> oh, man, that is that is really freaking sweet, man. That is so cool. All right, let's, let's head back home. Game of booties. 23 light years. Got plenty of fuel. Got warpers. I don't think there's anything else I want to get here, right? I should uh, pin my own home planet, huh? If it'll let me do that. It won't let me pin it. It's too close to Coach Hab. Okay. So is there anything else I want to do here? I don't think so. I didn't look at this planet. Is this like tidal locked or anything? Ice field Jellisol. I think that's what the other one was. Okay. Battletech also use Unity. Okay. Wow. Unity is a very powerful engine that can do a lot of stuff. That's cool. Right. Aim at Gamma Booties and let's start warping. I don't think I'm going to use this because this is probably similar to the Subnautica one where probably would make people sick too so <laughs> although I might as well record while I do it why not it's gonna take a little bit of time anyway video capture alert box pick up record looks like we're playing Star Trek or something hopefully with it pinned at least will be easier to see that the name will come up maybe this is less likely to do epilepsy I don't know to me, this right here looks like that could be kind of epileptic inducing too. Lots of lots of uh, colors and crazy stuff. But this is nice. We're just getting some pretty awesome visuals. I could use these for things for the stream and stuff, so. Okay. This and that recording alert. Video bit. This. Maybe I can slow it down. Yeah, maybe. I can't slow it down in-game, but maybe in, in video editor I can slow it down or something. Alright, Gamma Booties, you're the one I want to pin. Can I pin you? Uh, there we go, Gamma Booties pinned. I think I pinned it. Yeah, okay. Warp. Oh, I'm out of fuel! I'm at the space between stars, currently. Almost made it there. So every time I do that, it uses one space warper, is that right? Maybe put up an epilepsy warning before showing. Well, I mean, it's something I... Basically, I would plan to... These things I was going to do, I, I plan to use them is instead of this screen. I'll show you my break screen. This. Some people have said they get dizzy when I have that up. That's why I feel like the warp one's probably not a good one, because it's similar. But maybe have like the um have like the um uh the black hole or the neutron star one uh be my break screen or something instead. Ran pinning booties, you know it. Should always show your home system? Probably. So let's see if the ones that we left are now showing because they're pinned. I were looking around a lot and then yeah okay it looks like they're pinned now so thank you Ramses for that chat wiki so good chat wiki best wiki I think we can get the rest of the way here now 
Yeah, so that used a warper. Cool. Gamma booties, best booties. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, well. I guess we'll just fly the rest of the way. Donator panel still gone? Oh, I thought I put it there. Uh, you're right, I did miss it. Event list. There. There it is. Thank you. Some of you may have noticed there's a new command in chat. That's actually about something I'll be talking about more in the near future. Uh, there's a there's a new esports organization called uh, Iri Legacy that uh, Kasalian, who's in the chat all the time, invited me to join. So uh, I'll be talking more about that. But uh, I have I have joined them as a content creator. I don't know what all it's gonna ha I'm gonna be doing with that, but. One thing I can tell you is they're going to help plan the FTL tournament that I've been talking about for a long time. So that's something exciting if you want to check that out. <laughs> there is no booties command yet. All right. Uh, I think I might just warp this. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we got closer. You know, Rand loves the game when he decides to change the break screen. You know it. All right, so let's go to let's go home first. Gamma booties one. Check and make sure we're receiving all this stuff we just started mining, and then we'll see if we can make start this quantum chip factory planet. Our uh, little uh, field trip was a success. I just need to get an okay from the chair. <laughs> chair, chair is in charge of the booties, right? So I'm gonna need to decide. I think it's gonna be Gamma Booties Four where we're gonna want to do this because of the uh, resources that are there. Because it would be nice if we are mining everything on the planet there. We don't have to request iron or copper from another planet for the, the entire build. Okay. So I guess my question to you, uh, Vancha, would be for doing a thing like what I'm planning. Okay, I can't. If I'm going to do a quantum chip thing, what you say you like to do is you like to have each prerequisite like just built somewhere, right? Like a big factory for each item. Do you think instead of just doing a big quantum chip factory, the best thing would do to actually have a factory for all the prerequisites? for all my future builds. I'm wondering if that would be a better way to go about this than doing something like the actual quantum chip. Because that's that's a huge project, I feel like. Titanium glass water. Like, I wouldn't have water for these guys over there. So, that would be a bigger project than just doing it that way. Oh, let's go see. That might be That might be the way to actually start increasing production of a lot of things. You combined only chips and plane filters. Okay, so you had plane. You had a big factory making plane filters somewhere. It sounds like. All right, unipolar magnets. So I guess you know what. Since I have this, maybe I will swap over the thing that's making um, these guys because that's what's eating most of my motors right now. So. Let me see what this recipe would be. Is it just the magnets plus... Um... Oh yeah, that's super easy. Just copper. I don't even need this graphene here. So yeah, swapping all three of those over would save me a bunch of motors. Um... Okay, so I basically need to get a... I need to get a logistics things requesting that here. You made plane filters and insert directly to chip assemblers because they have four to one ratio. Interesting. Okay. Okay.
Where are my logistics robots? Right there. Okay. Wow, I am. It's probably because of motors that I don't have any of these guys. I haven't had this. I haven't run out of logistics robots this long, or whatever these things are called, uh, for a while. Yeah, there we go. This is going to request this. It's going to be local demand. We're going to do a thousand demand. Power this guy. You pan plan to include titanium glass, but it has weird ratio. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to change all three of you to a new recipe. I'm going to use up the motors first before I do this. So this. Let all these motors get used up first. Okay. And then I can bring in, I don't need, I don't need this. Graphing anymore. So I can get rid of this, this, this. And we can change over these recipes to be this one. Copy, paste, paste. Probably I should even upgrade all these sorters too. Wish I could just upgrade them straight to Mark III since I have Mark III's and not Mark II's. Okay. And then... Guy here. I believe it's that line. Oh crap. Okay. There. Just right. That looks like it's the oh uh, crap. I think I'm off by one space here. Nope, that's right. Cool. There. And then I'll cross there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There's one other thing I need to change over on this too, if I want to do that. Very nice, okay. Let's do uh, mark three of these inserters too, I guess. Okay, let's see the time that this takes to make. Yeah, it's actually not inserting fast enough. Do No, actually never connected the robots to the tower. I accidentally connected the vessels twice instead. Oh, did I mess that up? So it's not actually that I don't have the robots. Is that they're not going in? You are absolutely right. Ha! <laughs> Way to go, me. All right. Good eye. I completely missed that I did that. Okay. Okay. Uh, this will be a little awkward, but what I'm going to do is this to there. And this to here. And then this just needs to connect up to these, this guy here. Actually, no, what we can do is this. Connect that after we get this fixed. Okay. Okay, uh, hold on a second. I don't really want to increase the max of this too much, so before I do this, let me close that off. Increase this storage. Throw all these guys in there. 
then uh, take take like 40 of them out and then go back down to like 400 is fine 300 actually should be plenty of those guys I think okay okay and now I should actually start getting the logistics guys back in there to those guys there okay there we go what's up POD Tex how are you doing my friend okay so that I should see more motors starting to back up hopefully on this thing okay it's looking better so the other place that I have those guys let's turn all of the guys that are doing the um, particle things into that so this right here we want to get rid of the motors here as well and also the graphite Okay, I think it's just these two that are doing that, so I think I'll be good to get that going. So it's going to be not this one, but this one, copy, paste. Okay. And we're going to use the better inserters here. Oh, crap. Something else was using motors, wasn't it? No, 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 this is, this is, okay, that's the output. Okay. So actually I need to do this one, I can output, so that'll be the actual output of those. So all we need is to input that stuff in there. Do I happen to have an empty space anywhere here? Yes, actually I do, nice. So this guy can request those unipolar magnets as well. Command a thousand. Beautiful. And we bring that along. Guess right here, if we use a Mark III belt or Mark III and sorter should be fine. So this. Speaking of which, I need to grab some more Mark III and sorters. Okay. All right, I'm bringing that from over here. I wonder if I can move this belt through underneath here. Now, if that actually inter interacts there. There. So this up. Down, all right, nice, beautiful spaghetti. Beautiful, beautiful spaghetti. Okay, and I should see the magnets coming in there, and that should be all the places where I'm making these, um, whatchamacallits, uh, particle containers, I think, swapped over. There might be one or two other places, but hopefully this will, like, I think that probably is the main place where all these motors will be were being eaten up, like Vancho was saying. So hopefully this will be a good upgrade and change for a bunch of stuff. Okay, all right, very nice. Um, although I am currently seeing no motors here, so maybe there is still some place we're using them all up. Or, you know, I think iron was the main issue, wasn't it? We actually aren't creating as much because our iron was having an issue. No, iron's backed up here, it looks like. Uh, no, yeah, actually, we don't have enough iron over here. Okay, yeah, this is all drying up. We got no iron ore in here. Okay. All right, putting out fires, but not fast enough. So I need, I need, because I've got more stations requesting iron now, I think I actually need to get more stations supplying iron. Kind of nice to see there's still some trees left on this planet after all the construction went through. <laughs> 1.5 million iron on this planet. I believe I'm mining every iron vein. Let me, let me check if there's any iron vein I've missed yet. Iron remining. Crude oil. 
Iron, we are mining. I think we're about to the point where I need to start importing iron. Yeah, we're mining that iron. Any iron veins I am not mining. I just don't think there are any. I'm mining that iron. Yeah, I think I think we're pretty much mining all the iron on here. So before I do another thing, another um, build, I think I actually need to go to another planet and mine some more iron. So which uh, which of these other planets got crap tons of iron? 1.4 million, not that much. Gambooty's four, 10 million iron. Okay, we're gonna go do a crap ton of these things. And in order to do that, what I actually need is I need miners automated. And I don't think I ever actually automated miners. I feel like I'm just playing catch up with a lot of stuff I should have done a long time ago. I just never got it done, so. Like oil extractors, oil refineries, miners. I don't think I ever automated those, but you know what? I don't think I'm gonna take the time to do that right now. I'm just gonna make a bunch. 10, that'll give us 16. Okay, 16 miners. Um, so we got belts. Let's get some more of the Mark 1 belts. And splitters, sorters. Let's get some more of the Mark III in sorters as well. So that would be over here. And maybe after do this, I do this, I'll actually make a hub so I can have one place where I can come get all my items. How have I made zero of these things so far? And all this time, how did we make zero of these guys? I need to make sure I didn't mess up something there. This guy, yeah. Stack of these guys. Unless it's the motors that are just not getting down there. I gotta go check that. What has Future Rand ever done for us? I know, that guy's just always leeching and mooching off of past Rand, I swear. I know, classic past Rand, putting stuff off. Oh wow, a lot of our stuff is not working. I have a feeling that's because of either an iron or mo motors shortage. Yeah, yeah, it's missing this because, yeah, because of those guys. Okay, well, the iron inju injection should help. There's like one of these coming in every, okay. All right, so let's go do that. Uh, make sure I have everything I need. If I need more power, I actually have, I do have the few. Um, I should probably actually set up the ray receivers if I'm going to do that production on that planet anyway. So we'll set up the ray receivers for power as well. All right, Gamma Booties 4. Here we come. Yeah, booties one, two. Uh, where are you for? There you are. I guess if I wanted to, I could use a warper to get there faster, which, you know what? It's probably worth doing that, honestly. Save me a minute here. Nice, all right. Now if I could only crash land. Let me let me crash. I'm I'm going so fast I can't <laughs> can't crash. I mean land, I mean litho break. Okay, there we go. How much power does the sphere generate at the moment? Capacity five hundred and seventy, but I guess is it this one where I go like this? Is that not very much? I feel like that's low. Well, as many cells as I have, I feel like this should be producing a decent amount of power, right? It says we have a pass capacity of 570 megawatts. A lot of stuff is slowed down by my iron production right now, I think, though. Close up Dyson's here to make a nice chair animation too. Yeah, that's true. So if I were to set these things up here, 
Or is it ray, ray receiver? Is that Dyson Sphere? This is what I would do. I set them up here. Do these need anything to work? No, I don't think so. I have to look up other like efficient ways to do these things. So I did like three of these at each of the poles. Power generation, 5.2 something megawatts. It's some power and it's continuous receiving and that will slowly go up, right? Let me set these up at the both poles, both poles here. Because this planet is actually becoming kind of a production planet for us. A bit anyway. Well, it's more of a, I guess it's actually more of a resource uh, gathering planet. plug this into our power grid. Where's the closest we have anything? There's some iron that we're going to want to mine, so I'll get this power over here. I want to plug this into the rest of the power grid. Where's the closest thing we have over here? Okay. <laughs> the equator is the closest. All right. See how many iron veins we have on the way there. Probably best to go here and then down to there. Okay. Because the main goal of what we're doing right now is actually getting uh, iron injected into our logistics system because we just don't have enough. Is this the most efficient arrangement for ray receivers? I have no idea. No freaking clue, honestly. Maybe somebody in chat could tell us. I thought somebody said setting them at the pole. I mean, what you want is continuous. You want con as much continuous um, exposure because it's got better efficiency the more continuous the it's receiving a signal. So I think close to the poles is close to the most efficient. All right, power on this planet. Local planet. Okay, looks like we are generating a good good chunk of power here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one one logistics station about halfway between these two guys. Because this is going to have to be powered. Okay. Well, I probably want to slow it down because it's probably draining all our other power right now. And it's going to be iron ore. Remote supply, local demand. But three in a line specifically. Ah, boo, I don't know. You asked me questions about something that I've literally just started to do, and I don't know. I don't know. Ask, ask somebody in chat who's played this game 100 and something hours. I, I am 48 hours in this game just learning to use those. At, don't at me, bro. Don't at me, because I don't know. <laughs> don't at me. No, Ren, you must know all things. Since you are the one playing, you must know all things. I don't know all things, sadly. I get all those? Okay, I think I got all those. Okay. Um, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do and what we'll do is have these guys lead into each other here. This, this, I'm going to do a Mark II belt, going into there, 
Mark one. Going into there. Into there. And mark three. Going into there. Okay, that should hopefully start help our helping our um Again, I don't think I need these. I'm gonna put a couple in there. Helping our iron ore back on our home planet, hopefully. I'm gonna do a couple of these. Remote supply. I should see this. It's because of power that's not delivering yet? Because I know back home they're gonna be. You know what? I don't think I have an interstellar one back home requesting this, actually, so I'm gonna have to set that up. Okay, that's my bad. I'm actually not requesting any iron from other planets yet. So that's uh, an oversight. There. Press R while dragging belt. Okay. What does that do? I'll check that in a bit, I guess. Are these the highest level belts? Yeah, I think Mark III is the highest level. At least the highest level I've seen. Or Press R while dragging belt. Ah! Nice. A thing that I didn't know existed. Very cool. Okay. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll go uh, Mark One. To there. Mark two into there. Mark one to here. Mark one to there. And then mark two. There. To there, all right. And then mark three. There to there. They look insanely fast. They're pretty darn fast, that's for sure. These guys are 30 a second compared to six a second. They're five times faster than the Mark ones. Okay. Power. All right. Looks like power generation is keeping up now. Cool. So now I just got to go back home and actually request the iron ore. Do I want to get one more set up? I, I, I need a lot of iron, so I probably should get another couple of these set up. Are there a, a, other iron veins close by each other? Ooh, perfect. Got two iron veins right next to each other. Let's go there. Set up one more group of these. How many miners do I have left? Seven. Okay. So we'll do one more station here. Station. That's not the right thing. I want this thing. Actually, it's probably best to put it right in between. Use the fewest amount of belts. Okay, iron ore. These guys, I'm not going to put the local guys because I don't have any, but I don't actually need them. So it's going to be local demand, remote supply. Do that. Okay. No, it's called splitter, not a combiner. <laughs> I know. I know I don't have to do it, but I like it because of how it looks. I know, I know, I know. Combiner, I just met her. So there, there's my there's my response to that. Come, 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 come on. I think there's a way. Oh, it's like so clear. Yeah, I got it. Got it. 
All right, so there's only three of these guys. I will, uh, I will take that under advisement. And how will we do that? We will go. Mark one, mark one. Mark one, and then where they all come together, we will do a mark two. This is probably what you want me to do, right? Something like that instead. Oh, damn. See, when you do this, it makes the all funky, though. Go like that. Yeah, right, that's probably what you're wanting to see me do. So there you go. Use them all the time too, but now you think it's just as a necessary part if you want to just merge belts. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the smart way to do it. I should probably do the smart thing instead of the not smart thing. Well, there you go. Hopefully that'll make you and whoever watches later on YouTube feel better. <laughs> you're wasting splitters. Oh my god. Okay, very nice. Okay. And... That's weird. Okay. One part of the re part of the reason I do it too a lot of times is the grid snapping. So. Okay. And then upgrade this guy and this guy. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got some iron ore going like crazy. Nagging is for fun. <laughs> That's what you do for fun, God. You just want to see me have fun while playing this game. You don't really care how I build this stuff. I know. You're right, though. This actually probably is the better way to do it. Probably is even faster, so I don't have to, like, adjust the splitters and all that kind of stuff. But, yes, I I, I take it in the spirit it's, it is offered, which is for fun nagging. I understand. Completely understand. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I need to power these guys back up. Oops. Oh gosh, holy crap, okay. If I go back to 60, we'll be able to handle that. Okay. All right, so now I just need to go back home and have an interstellar logistics station actually request iron ore, and that should start helping distribute that, distribute that to where it needs to go on our home planet. All right. You think a single miner produces more than a Mark I belt? I think I need Mark II belts there. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade that yet. I, I don't. I believe you. I just don't. I don't want to go back and change up all of my belts for all of my miners that I've placed so far. So. Oh, how cavalier am I gonna be with my warpers? I'm gonna be pretty cavalier. Do it. And we'll bam. Slingshot us into bam, into the world. Okay, you know what? I think I have a plan for what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna we're gonna get this iron uh, request set up, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start our logistics system. We're gonna get. The place where all of our items get gathered on this planet. It's 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 been too long for us to set that up. So Do I have a do I have a interplanetary one that's not full yet? I bet you I have one somewhere that's not. I could be wrong, honestly, but let me let me just see. Hmm. 
These are all inner. All these are all planetary ones. I don't think I have a planetary one. All right. So what we'll do is we'll set this one up. This one will be the place where it requests copper and all the other basic resources like coal and stuff that we might need. So this kind of area over here is what I've been setting up my interplanetary requester dudes. So let's just keep up with that. Let's go. Was it plus? There. Okay. So we'll put, set that up here. Build more towers since they only have 10 ships each. More towers for what, Boncho? Iron, remote, demand, local supply. There it is. There it is. Okay. And I probably will want warpers for this, I'm going to guess, eventually. So let me actually... Let me actually set that up here. It'll only go up to 50 if I am not mistaken. Remote demand. I'm going to set up a couple things. I know I'm going to want to get more of this probably eventually. I don't know about the titanium and stuff, but maybe these three basic items. If I ever need to get more stone or copper from anywhere else. And I need the actual robots that we fixed earlier, which should be here. There we go. We're finally getting more in here. Beautiful. 100 of those guys. And power you. Step one, get enough soil. Yes. All right. So we'll start getting iron and hopefully this will start filling up our other, um, all of our other iron smelters that have been getting wrecked by us and just not having enough iron anymore. Okay. All right. So if I want if I want a logistics station to pick up all my stuff, do I want these to be inner, inner, interstellar ones so that I can supply them to other planets? Basically, what I'm thinking about is all the items that I keep wanting to request, all the belts and everything that I have in planetary ones. You were suggesting, Vancho, I set them up at the poles. Are you talking about setting up interstellar ones at the poles that request everything and that way they can supply other planets too? Is that the best way to do it? We're definitely going to need more stuff here. I think I've got a bunch of soil piles earlier. I feel like this is probably a good idea to set it up as interstellar. So if I want to request these things over on other planets, I will have the ability to do so. So let's see um, how closely together can these guys be? How closely together can I put them? I kind of wish this guy wasn't here, honestly. Future Ran says thanks. Yeah, thanks for thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Maybe if I go the closest I can get to this guy. Okay, so it'd be on like if I did on this line right here, I could go around. Okay, let's do that. Future Ran says thanks. Oh, you know him too. Yeah, he's lazy. I was going to say he's a good guy, but he's really just lazy. Making past Randu all the work. Yeah, that guy. I hate that guy. 
All right, so let's set these up one at a time here. So logistics, no, storage, transportation. See how closely they can be put together. Like that. Needless has a tutorial how to set up a polar hub. Okay. Well, but chat's my wiki, so I guess I'll just come up with my own little thing right here for right now then. Alright, so um God, I'm meaning a lot of these not a lot of these dudes here. I'm going to need all, basically, I'm going to need all of my, all of the robots right now, which are right over, where are they? There's the bend in the road, so it's going to be here. Damn it. I'll be honest, I've been enjoying not watching tutorials for this game, honestly. Um, hey, Scott. Key iron, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that, my friend. See here, there it is. So give me all of them. Oh. All of these guys. I don't need all of these guys though. I don't think so. Twenty each, but like two hundred of them, I probably need. Um, if I make ten stations, that's two hundred one because we actually were missing one there. Okay. You've been watching the old FTL VODs. Hasn't helped you not being trash, but good watching my enthusiasm. <laughs> All right. All right. Glad to hear it. Okay. Let's like start at the basic thing. So we'll go conveyor belts. Three types of conveyor belts. So remote supply, local demand. Um, and we'll go like a, a thousand here. So you don't grab more than a thousand. So mark one, mark two, thousand of each. Mark three here. Local demand. It's nice to see these just kind of start getting filled up there. It is the most fun way. Make it by yourself first and look why you have why you have made crappy thing. Yes, <laughs> I can later on fix it. And whine about why didn't I do it the first this way the first way next time? You can whine about it later. So that's the great it's the great way. It's the way I love to do things. I love to whine things after I've already made them poorly. Okay. Love it. Uh, okay, so there's that. And then we can do splitters. Local demand. Okay. And what else goes with these guys? I want to do the inserters all together. Um, anything else for this? I'll do the smelters with the assembly stations. I don't actually think I have mining stations set up anywhere, so we'll do the miners here. It's like 500 local demand. I'll have to set up that thing there. Given how bad the tutorial is at the moment, Read almost non-existent. You find that watching one or two beginner's guides quite useful. Have I checked out Loop Hero yet? Completely. Complexity in its simplicity. I have watched some... Uh, I've watched um, Lethal Frag and a little bit of Dolphin Chemist. That's probably the next list of... Next game on my list to check out, honestly. Don't know when it's going to happen, but it's, it's probably the next one on my list. Alright, so we'll do Assembly Machines... And we'll do a thousand of these guys as well. About 500 of these. I don't think I even have Mark IIs in the thing, but we're just going to do all of them. Because who knows, maybe I'll eventually want to have the different levels. Probably not. There. Smelters. And... What else can go with these? If I ever get, like, uh, water pumps. Sure. That's fine. Okay, and then we're going to do local demand, 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 demand. Not coming back to when it will blossom? Eh, maybe eventually. It's just I'm... I, I actually just saw on Twitter that they added a new um, class with a spear. It's fun, but the runs seemed very... 
um, similar to me. Since, since there's no randomness about what sectors you go to or regions, kind of becomes kind of samey to me after after time with those. So maybe eventually I'll play it again, but it'd probably be a little time before I actually want to do that. Okay, so that's those things. So what are the other things I want to put in here? Um, that I have automated power stuff. Let's do power stuff. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a great game. I just... Um, I'm not feeling that urge to keep wanting to play it, honestly. Actually, if I do that, it copies its settings, I think. So I don't want to do that. You find it a bit annoying that you can't skip upgrading to upgrade tiers. Can't replace Mark One belts with Mark Twos. Oh, with Mark Threes, need to do the Mark Two first. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of annoying. I agree. Okay, I already have the solar panels. I don't think I'm gonna do solar panels here, but I will do these. These. I don't have these automated, but I probably will want them eventually. And this. We'll do those for now. We might do other power things later. There. And, um... Five hundred of each of these guys. Haven't even... Uh, uh, I haven't even automated the number of the things I'm putting here, but... Again, this is... This is all for you, future Rand. You'll thank me later. Not enough replayability, kind of like Into the Breach. Yeah, kind of. Logistic vessels pick up maximum they can load. For example, you want 100 assemblers on the other planet, but this tower has 500 storage vessel. will take all 500, despite you requesting only 100. Okay, I'm fine with that. Just check, literally, the only negative review for the Wind and Wilting Blossom is titled, This Game is Basically Japanese FTL. <laughs> oh, it's a great game. I love it. I definitely enjoy playing it. Um, whoops. Oh, what did I just click? I think I clicked the tutorial. Oh, don't lag. Okay. Uh, I, what I actually think I want is the logistics pieces now. So let's do those. The actual tower storage and robots. So I can grab them all from here easily. Okay. Okay. So transportation. Right here, I believe. Yeah. I guess the main issue is if I don't get warper set up in here, if I request these on in other systems, I won't be able to get them. So I might need to actually have warpers go into each of these each of these guys. Let's see if I need if I want to get that going. So planetary, interstellar. Um, the robots, logistics drones, six vessels, and I haven't got these automated yet. But we'll go orbital collectors. And actually, I don't like how that's done. So clear, clear, clear. Do these all so it's all nice and nice and orderly. Orderly fashion. This and this. And um, we're just going to do a hundred of each of these guys. And even if it goes over that with the way it, you're saying, with the way it transports. Don't need a ton of those guys stored. These guys we will go like 400. 500 is good. Something like that. Okay. And then remote, demand, 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 demand. And then you need power. I wonder if I'm remote demanding these in the other places. Is that why they're not sending them yet? 
or is it because of my numbers I'm asking for? Local, whoops, I have it backwards. Remote supply, you're right. I have it, I did this one backwards. Local demand. There it is. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the logistics stuff. Um, oh God, this is going to look like a COVID-19 virus, this planet, after we get all these things set up. What else? So we have um, power, transportation stuff. Uh, I need insorters. Let's get insorters. Somebody made that joke recently, and I was like, oh, that's in bad taste. And then I'm like, oh, I just said it, too. So <laughs> I guess it really does, though. It really does. Okay, so this will be Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. And what else? Uh, we have our storage thing, so we can do storage and storage. I don't have the liquid one set up. So I'm sing too. Would be interesting and in sing. I just looked through my VODs. Haven't found a dedicated singing music stream unless you miss it in the tags. Do I do those too? No, I don't really do singing streams. Um, and you can blame the DMCA for that. Uh, type exclamation point sing. It'll give you some links to some of my group stuff. But singing is just a way to get your stream muted on Twitch. Uh, or you're unable to upload it onto YouTube because of because copyright law is bullshit. So, and I say this as a published composer. Well, published arranger anyway. Copyright's dumb. So it makes it, it makes it really stifles uh, creativity. So. Yeah, you can, uh, you can listen to the sea shanty. The sea shanty's good. Yeah, the shanty will let you uh, listen to all me. That's all me on YouTube. Okay, so let's see. Okay, and then it's going to be local. Uh, wait, let's check our, let's get our numbers right first here. Thousands good. There. There. These guys, like 300 is fine. We don't need very many of these storage guys there. So local demand. I've done like Twitch Sing streams in the past, but even those, like, music is just. There are so many um, corporations that have these, you know, automated flagging services that. Um, uh, you know, mute streams and get things pulled down that, um, I just, I just, I just don't do music on stream because of that. You know what I don't have is foundations. And it's pretty darn frustrating and annoying, but. Cool demand. What's up, uh, Karim Top Tracks? DMCA is a burden to creativity. It really is. Copyrights like FTL missiles. Stupid, unfair, and broken. There you go. Current copyright law protects content for like 95 years after the death of creator. Corporations always win. Yeah. And the thing I hate about it so much is that it's not, it's not protecting the original artists. It really isn't. It's only protecting... The only people that really benefit from it are the giant corporations that own the copyrights, not the actual artists. So it's just a way for big corporations to make more money over stuff that they didn't create. It's an oversimplification, but I know very few artists who go, man, I love the way copyright law works. I just, I don't know basically personally any artists that think that. Have a nice game. Thanks, Krim. It's just business. Yes, I know. I know. It's just a business of... It's a crap business. The, I, I've, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos about copyright, and um, one of the best ones I watched talked about how copyright law was was created back in the 20s or 50s or 60s 
back when media was distributed in a very different way, the way that modern media is distributed through YouTube, iTunes, Twitch, like the way that modern media is distributed, archaic copyright law doesn't keep up and it just stifles creativity, so. All right, so that's probably a good start for this. Is there anything else that I have automated that I want to put on here? I have the email, e EM rail ejectors, ray receivers. I don't know if I want to get those. Uh, and I do have the energy ray exchangers. You know what? It probably would be worth. Wait, where's the power one? I should have put the... Uh, I shouldn't have put these here. Let me change this. Let me change this one to local supply. And I'm going to move this to a different one. Where's one that's got a space? There's not one. Okay, so I'm going to do a new one, do a new one for that because I want to put power stuff all together in the power. Although, I need the foundation, so give me. And there's probably people who disagree with what I say about copyright stuff, but you know, that's just my that's just my feeling on copyright. It's a big old ball of lawyers and businesses screwing screwing artists to make more money. Big old ball of that crap. Okay, foundations. It's gonna be here. Local demand. There, that'll move them from the other one to this one. Come on. So, I really wish you could type in the number here. I really wish you could. Okay. This is probably doing a... Just tank, tanking my power right now, doing all this stuff. Okay, so where's the foundations there? This one, right? Here, yes. So let's clear that one. And what was the power one I wanted to do? I think it's the energy exchangers. Yeah. So like 500 of those local demand there we go um uh, yeah elvis isn't dead he he just went home to his planet men in black yeah of course how could you forget disney's head is still alive frozen ice same argument can be made for australia sued the media companies facebook and google for fair use of journalism for once Though the law fell with content creators on that one rather than corporations. It's just shame the law can't catch up with the world. 100% right that laws created 100 years ago shouldn't apply to post-internet era media consumption. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, let me see here. Now, being able to see these items um, quickly is not very easy. So, I think there might be a way we can learn from... Factorio Satisfactory, where if we have one little belt coming out with each item, I think that might have a visual cue for what we can see. Let me see if that works. Uh, set, we did something like this in Satisfactory. Now, if I do that, if I do that and I go like this, is that going to show... Yeah, okay, I think that'll work. I think that'll be useful. Do a similar thing in Satisfactory. There. 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 I waste a couple items because they're just sitting out there, but now if I'm like on another planet or on the other side and I'm like, oh, which thing do I need? I can kind of quickly zoom in and view. Okay, that's that, that's that, that's that. Okay, cool, let's do that. I like it. I like it. Okay. Similar thing here. Belt mark one. Belt mark two. Belt mark three. And then this. And this. I actually need to get miners automated. That might be the next thing I do. Hopefully my iron will have caught up 
with the injection I set up. Also want to get these long range guys automated. I thought I did that at one point, but I might be wrong. There. There. Nice thought you did not think about that. Yeah, I think that'll be helpful so that I don't have to click on each one. This will be a nice visual cue that will be a faster way of quickly identifying what's in, what's in each place. Glad you like it. I can contribute to the community of new ideas in whatever this game is called. <laughs> Dyson Sphere Program. There. Okay. And then this guy. Okay, cool. It's probably even a neater way to do that. This will be just kind of an initial idea here. There. There. I think I saw um, a guy do this in um, something similar to this in Satisfactory, so I use a similar idea in my Satisfactory storage thing. So. All right, there we go. So now we can quickly see sorters, foundations, logistics things, power, belts, and um, automated assembly things. Future Rand says thanks. That's right. Randism. It's a Rand idea. It's so random, though. <laughs> Items don't spawn, so they aren't really wasted. True, but I mean, because they're sitting out here, I'll never come and grab them. So, did I do warpers? I didn't do warpers on purpose because I don't want the warpers coming out. But do I need to get warpers in here? Is that what you're telling me? If I want this to be able to go to other systems, I do. So probably what I want to do is local demand warpers and have this go through this thing is probably the easiest way to do this warpers I want the smallest amount to store here demand and then we have this just go from one to the next should work Okay. I was thinking about this as I was doing this. I was like, well, if I want these things to actually go where I want them to go, if I want if I want to be able to request any of these items on any planet I'm in, this is the way to do this. Uh, let me cover this up. There. Demand with foundations. You may need them somewhere. What? Well, Are you saying local demand, remote supply? I'm not quite sure what you're telling me to do there. All right, why are these warpers not coming out of here? I feel like this filter thing didn't work correctly. There it goes. There. And this is kind of a daisy chain type of thing where they'll... One will supply to the next until it fills up, and then it'll supply the next. On and on and on and so forth. Okay. Alright, let's see if that works. Do I see warpers starting to come in here? Warpers in there? There it goes. Are you saying I should demand the warpers with the foundations? Demand with foundations, I might need them somewhere. I'm pretty sure I already have a supply for outside the planet with warpers. I'm pretty sure. I think I understand what you're saying, but... Remote supply, local demand. I, I have them supplied already. Remote supply local demands. I have a place for that, so I don't think I need to do that. The ultimate goal of this game to build the best Dyson vacuum. 
No, but uh, I've ever heard that joke a couple times. No, what you're building is an actual Dyson Sphere, which if you want to see what that looks like, you notice our sun that we're orbiting. You see that big thing? That's what the goal is. You're seeing a lot of stuff on a planet. This is uh, the star that we are, that all of, that the four planets in this solar system, three planets, are orbiting, and we are building an actual Dyson Sphere to capture the power of it. Um, speaking of, solar sails in orbit 68, so there are still some going in here. Hopefully none have been wasted. I will assume none of them have. Nodes in total, 72. Have they finished the nodes? We still haven't finished the nodes. Hashtag science lessons with Rand, that's right. You missed the notification four hours ago. Oh no, Mosaic! We checked out a black hole while you were... Oh, you weren't here. I was... Sad that you weren't able to be here for that. Hey, look, we're not backing up on this hydrogen anymore. Let me go see if our iron's looking any better on our, um... Uh, on our thing now. It's looking better. Our steel's not looking great. Let me go take a look at our steel and see what's going on with it. Steel smelting. Yeah, we just, we're just not smelting it fast enough, it looks like. So now that I got extra iron, I might want to put more steel in to uh, make another another build like this, maybe. As long as I had fun at the black hole, that's the important part. <laughs> it sounds dirty, but I did. I did have fun at the black hole. Fun at the black hole. All right, let's set up uh, an extra steel smelting station somewhere to supplement what we got going here. Where can I, where can I do that? Our steel is being pulled off other places back here, right? Yeah, it is being pulled off over there. Let's do, uh, let's do a little steel smelting over here. Inject it into this line over here. And so now we got a good chunk of extra iron. That doesn't do anything from another planet, we can just request the iron and put it through a steel smelting thing. I think I decided last time that I think 12 smelters was the way to go. After I do this, I really need to get miners automated if I can. Uh, we're gonna do one, we're gonna do this quick build. And then we'll go, we'll take a, we'll take our last break of the day. All right, so this is gonna be, so actually I guess it'll be 12 iron directly into, Six iron to six steel, six iron to six steel, I believe is what we want to do here. So I believe the iron can go directly into the steel, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, Four, yeah, five, six there. One of the black holes sounds like a Steel Panther song. <laughs> okay. So I'll have iron on that backside, then iron on the backside, and then have these combined. Yes, so this will work. So I go like this. So one space, two space. You can go one extra. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then these guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. <laughs> Ramsey's asking if Boo wrote all the quotes down. I've been wondering the same thing. But I haven't I haven't pushed because you know. You, you do, you do you. You do you, boo. You do you. Right, and, um... Local demand of iron ore demand. I need more of these robots. And now we have a quick, easy way. Uh, this is what we just got finished working on, Mosaic. We got an actual orbital, or pole supply system here. So let's see what we're looking for is... Robots. 
That's our latest project that we just got done. And we got the um, pole magnet things from the um, from a neutron star and a black hole earlier today. So some good good stuff we got done. Good good stuff. Okay, there. Did I power this? I did not power this yet. My own personal Sky Mall. There you go. Sky Mall, huh? Is that like Skynet? Sounds like Skynet, but with less killer robots. You broke the bot. Oh no, don't break my robot. Um, do I need Mark? Do I need faster than Mark 1? guys here. Whoa, what? Is it too close? Oh, tell me I didn't too... Okay, um... Damn it, damn it, damn it. If I move all these in one space... You know what? I actually think I can make that work because I have these fast belts. I actually don't think they'll kill me to do this. So, that's too close, so it has to be there. Actually, I think this isn't gonna work because... If it's there. Well, actually, can a belt fit in between here? No. Damn. Damn to damn, damn, damn. Okay. I gotta move this all over. Oh, that feeling when you don't know the distances between things correctly. One, two, apparently I have to do. Well, if it's going to be that far away, I'm definitely doing Mark III sorter since I have those automated. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can filter a belt between iron and steel. Oh, well. Oh, damn, I didn't push the recipe. We'll just go with this. I'm trying to avoid using a belt here. I just want it to be sorted in and in and out sorted. That having a belt there. Copy. Paste. 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 Okay. Okay. And then this guy. Is gonna be a Mark One there. We're gonna make sure we do this correctly this time. This guy will be there. And then this. I feel like these blinking power things, it's probably not a good thing. <laughs> oh my god, our demand is way over our uh, generation. Well, uh, it's, it's future Rand's problem. We have a Dyson Sphere, isn't that supposed to be doing all the power for us? We have a planet outsourcing our power. Is it not doing good a good enough job? We've done a lot of big builds today and haven't actually done anything power wise. What's efficiency on array receivers now? Well, I only got one here, and I can't click on this from here, so I'd have to go check it out. I don't know. I feel like we're not actually getting much power from our Dyson Sphere. You know what? That might be the next thing I look at, is how to make sure I'm getting the maximum efficiency of power from the Dyson Sphere. Um, one thing I will say is, because we got the ray receivers automated, it's one of the reasons why we did that, so that we can have... Uh, actually get more power coming from the Dyson Sphere, because we have a capacity of like 500 and something megawatts that we should be able to get from it, I think. One receiver's max that power output is 12.5, so I'm just not collecting it, yeah. Okay. So after we build this and get this inserted, we need steel and some other things. The upgrades we've been doing have been needed for the thing we're talking about, the, getting the ray receivers automated, so. Okay. 
Okay. Go. And we'll have these guys both go to a Mark II belt. There. Mark II. And we're injecting this into the steel. How about right here? One, two, three. There. Okay. So hopefully that injection of steel will be a really nice thing for our bus there. Okay, so let's go see how many array receivers we have. This is really the last thing we do before I take our last break, really. Uh, ray receivers, did I put them up here? I don't think I set them up here yet. If I'm not mistaken. No, I did those guys, but not the ray receivers. So the ray receivers are all the way at the end of our bus over here. Here? Yes, I have 20, okay. Not nearly as many as I would hope for, but this is a pretty expensive recipe. And motors were lacking for a while. Max output is 25 milliwatts with the lens. No, yeah, I'm not using the lenses for that. I set up six of the ray receivers on another planet. Yeah, boo. All right, so... This guy's efficiency. 12.5 megawatts. He's at 100% efficiency. If I were... Set these guys up. Something like this. Well, that sound is really cool. That'll slowly get us a little more power, it looks like. Um, you don't consider lenses lenses you have to make and deliver them? Yeah, I don't know that I want to even think about even trying to set that up. Using lenses does double the output, but they are also used in other schematics, yeah. I mean, they're used in making green science. That's one of the most important things, is green science for making my warpers. So, games like this are an OCD wet dream. It's very true. It's quite true. All right, I'm gonna do. Doesn't look like I can get them like perfectly spaced. Or an OCD nightmare for things like that. Because some of the times you can't get them placed exactly how you'd like them. If I do something like that, and then go do something similar on the other pole, that should, I think, get me some decent power coming in through the Dyson Spear. Does that change this? Hey, okay. So it looks like this is getting us more power now, I think. It's not even, is it not? I know that thing's in the way. Why did supply lenses constantly? We can just double receivers amount, yeah. You have surplus of lenses, so you're using that. Home planet. All right, let me go, let me go set up some on the uh, other pole. For all those who are OCD and that doesn't look perfect, I feel bad for you. <laughs> And my iron here is still not doing great. I'll be honest, I'm kind of getting to the, the feel of like, like when I did with Factorio where um, I want to start a new run so I can use, plan on using logistics stations from the very beginning with a better build path. I'm getting, I'm kind of getting close to that point. Maybe, maybe when I finish this first Dyson Sphere, if I still want to keep playing, I might actually invest in a new, start a new playthrough to do something like that. We'll have to see. Okay.
This one currently is probably not a map. Yeah, it's only strength uh, 95%. But yeah, it's just not getting as much because we're on the... Because of the season we're in, I guess. Because we have no space left to build, you can still double the output. With the um, other thing, with the uh, lenses, yeah. That's why you plan before building. <laughs> I should really learn how to do that. I should really learn how this planning thing works. This one I can do if I just move this belt. Which I am going to do. I am going to move this belt. Oops. Okay. There we go. Power line in the way. Try some spear. Are we off the grid now because I did that? I think we might be. Regret is the most destructive force in the universe. That's two men in black quotes in a single stream. Swear I'm not trying to shoehorn them in. <laughs> All right, I'll take your word for it. All right, there we go. That's pretty cool looking, honestly. Um, I just don't know if there's a way to... How many more of these do I have? Five more. How do I make this even here? I don't know if there's a way to make it even with the way the lines are with the poles. Will it ever show if it's equal distant, e equidistant or not? And show it connecting to both? I don't know if it would, because this right here would drive a drive a OCD person insane, I think. I wonder if that's why pollution as a replacement for pestilence in Good Omens, the book is white. Okay, I don't get that one. All right, let's see. Does that help my power at all? Holy crap, our generation capacity is huge. Is that from what we just did? Am I crazy in that this Dyson Sphere thing doesn't show like it's given us that much power? But with those upgrades we just did, it looks like we have a crap ton more power. Oh, system. Ah, so if I go local planet. Okay. Uh, it, did, it did help, though. Still this thing. It keeps changing this system on me. Okay. Alrighty, my friends. Well, uh, it's a little bit past time for my final break. So really quickly, I'm going to stand sure she's rushing. Save the game. Take my final break of the day. Hope you all are having a good time. Hope you all are all chilling out on a Sunday and having a great time. Having a great weekend. Chilling out with this awesome Dyson Sphere game. Uh, if there is anybody new to the stream, hope you're having a good time. Hit the follow. Quick 60 second word of the ads. We'll come back. We will finish up and maybe get some things automated, have an automated, and see if we can increase our Dyson Sphere production or something. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.